We'll be getting started in about five minutes. And there is the top of the hour. Hello and welcome. 
Today's going to be a little bit different compared to the last few Sims 4 streams, with the most significant being we're not going to be uh, spending any time with Frankie today. No, today is... Uh, we're going to be doing a special double build. Which is why we are here at the Comfy Cubby next to the Oak Alcove, as the lots are next to each other and the same size. As the title of the stream may imply, we're going to be doing something unpleasant. So a few days ago, there was a post on the subreddit for The Sims 4. And it was just filled with terrible design ideas, such as a completely purple kitchen, including purple marble. A fridge that's in a cubby by itself, separated from everything, with no walls connecting to the ceiling. It could have been done better, but eh, deal with it. A few bathtubs in places they don't belong, a washing machine over a toilet. Don't ask questions. And finally, and most importantly, this little abomination that hopefully I'm going to center it for a moment and bring it up so that you, everyone can see it a little bit better. Meet the abomination, as I will be calling it from here on out, because that is what it is. I've already done a test build. Oh, I'm really peeking. Give me just a second here. Sorry, I don't normally, I'm not normally looking at test. Test. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I don't normally look directly at my uh, inputs, so I didn't realize I was peeking that badly there. Sorry, but I digress. What we are looking at is a very small house. Uh, yesterday, after the stream, I spent about an hour and a half getting this, doing a test build of this. Most of which was just trying to get the scaling, as at one point I estimated that each of these tiles is right around three feet. And it's not precise by any measure, but it's close enough to work with. Uh, so I wanted to get the ratios in and get some principal ideas of how to lay things out so that it is simmable. Its very existence pains me. The other issue is that since I'm an American, I had to convert all this out of meters into feet because this is very clearly done in meters. I can tell just because of some of the ways they write this stuff. A uh, few other notes. You may note the garage and the kitchen are the same room, and there is no purveyance for a stove or a fridge in said kitchen. I don't mind the entry into the bathroom, into the living bedroom space. That's not that terrible. I've seen it. It's actually not terribly uncommon in some country homes that were built back in like the 70s. You would have a kitchen next or you'd have a bathroom next to right next to one of your entries so that anyone coming in out of the fields and out, out of the, you know, disgusting labor work would have somewhere to clean up before they entered the house so they wouldn't make the whole house house. Sorry. Disgusting. Uh, the only other major point that we're going to get to before we start building is what is BIR? I actually had to look this up as this is something we never covered in any of my architectural courses in school. Essentially, from what I could tell, as only a few results gave me anything accurate, is it's essentially a built-in wardrobe. I may be slightly wrong on that, and feel free to correct me if you happen to know the correct terminology for that. But it's essentially a built-in wardrobe. And the bedroom and living room are shared, which is fine. That's a studio plan. That's fairly common even now. And I could probably... Okay, yeah, we can use the tiny living stuff for some of that. We got a small courtyard space, which makes me wonder how this is actually oriented in real life. As that isn't a courtyard, that would be a porch or deck, depending on platform height. But I remember what the base dimensions are. For example, the garage is four tiles wide, six tall. So we'll be working with those numbers. Uh, and like I said, we'll be building this twice. Once as the plan shows here. And once as, as uh, how I would be rebuild it. So with that, we're going to move this back into its little corner up here where it can be forgot. Where you guys can see it as we're building. I have no idea how visible that is for all of you, but hopefully that's... I'm very picky. There's a re One of the reasons I don't have a webcam is I don't want to risk covering anything up, so this is just 
a, a rare example. Plus, I didn't know how to set up sorts for this until yesterday. But I digress. Can turn that off, and I'm going to swap back over to my stream manager. There we go. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to start here. And the house come. So, the garage is four by six. And then we've got a two wide hall here, and then we've got a four by six here with, I believe it was a two by four on this. Yeah, it's a two by four because it's the 1.5 doesn't uh, lead into the Sims very well. So some of this got rounded up very well. I'll be honest. I rounded all of this up whenever possible. So now we're going to do some of the rooms. There are my walls. There they are. Oh, nope. So, bathroom has this little notch in it. And then it's cut here and cut here with this point open. We are going to do the roof real quick. So there was no documentation on the roof. But looking at everything else about this, to me it screams likely a flat roof of some description, which means we need a small extension around the top. Uh, that one will work, because we do not need much space. And then I went with a black, I believe. And we are just going to pre-color that real quick. It's just the gravel. Because that's a very common roofing material on flat roofs, is just to gravel it. That way, all of your water can settle. Or something along those lines. Don't ask me questions on this. I don't understand it some days. Okay. So, we don't have doors that fit in the same way that they are needed for the design. But that does not mean we don't have objects that can handle similar tasks. This is where we get into the I'm kind of adjusting the designs to allow it to be possible. Nope, I need this one. Uh, yeah, let's do the one with the... Nope, it's still not the right one. It's one of these. So it is a single piece slide... Nope, that's still ain't right. Oh, there it is. This one taller or is this one wider? We'll do the tall one. And I'm also assuming for the purposes of this that the lowest uh, wall height, uh, which would bring it, assuming the Sims walls are proper, they should be eight feet tall. Eight to 10. And then I think the second height is 10, the top to height is 12 is what it would come out to. So, there's that. Right, we need to Another weird thing is it looks like the garage, if you look, there's no marker for a door there of any description, even a roller door, so we have to get rid of the wall, because clearly there's no door there. And so, let's see. And this is where it just gets worse. So there is a window placed approximately here of that style, and then there is, there are two. To be fair, the two here are slightly different sizes, but for the per, again, since everything here is either one to two tiles to three tiles, I don't have a one and a half. So we will be working with two one tiles and we'll offset them appropriately. Technically speak, this is where that half would be needed. So it should go to here rather than here, but that's a minor issue. Next up is our doors. Now this involves almost all the doors in this, except for the bathroom doors and the entry door, are sliding doors of some description, which I actually approve of. For extremely compact designs, what you'd want is sliders. You wouldn't want, uh, you would want to avoid full-size swing doors wherever possible. 
We're going to use the snowy escape walls for these as I feel that they are appropriate to what we are trying to do here. So there is one into the entry room here and there's one from the kitchen to here. There's an experiment I wanna try real quick. So bring this up one tick and then bring this down one. Nope, that won't work, okay. Sorry, that was an experiment. I wanted to see if I could keep the garage at this height and then lift the rest of the walls up. I think I theoretically can, but it would require a slight rebuild, which is something we might try in the rebuild variant. But we are assuming no steps, as demonstrated in the plan. And we are assuming... And we're assuming flat roof. And we're making some rough adjustments to allow for the design to feasibly be workable. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to go with a bland color scheme on this, just for ease of sake. We can go back and redecorate it later to be more pleasant. Well, I'm going with a darker palette on those, so maybe I should do... No, no. There it is. I really do appreciate the more sliding doors. They're way more common cultural... 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 -y. Yep, that just did not want to come out of my mouth. Um, than a lot of people think. I wish we had some pocket doors, I really do. It would make life so much easier. Then we've got the bathroom, which is sink, toilet, shower, shower, and the cubby. This is going to be dark for a bit, as this makes no... Uh, there's no ceiling plan for this either. To be fair, I never did a reverse image search on it, so I couldn't... There may have been more planned, but we clearly see there's no upstairs. What am I looking for? All right, bathroom. Uh, so sink, 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 sink. We're going to do the patrician. We're going to slide that all the way to the corner. And then... They have a very low profile toilet, so we're going to use the too cool for number two. But, this is where it gets annoying. We're going to have to use the BB for everything. So theoretically, that's enough space, but I'm not certain. I didn't experiment with walkability, so we may have to create a sim residence to fit in here. The main concern is whether or not a sim can actually sit on the toilet here. And then we have a few more doors. To, we have two more doors to place in. They're going to be just nice, basic. Uh, where is my plain wooden door? There it is. Dear God, it's actually called Plain Wooden Door. I was just calling it that because I couldn't remember what it was called. Okay. So from what we have from the plans, this is it. To be fair, this might not have a railing on it in the actual document. But this is as much as we have to go off of. Now you may note that... I want to see... You probably won't be able to see where my mouse is because how this image over image works but right where that big red arrow is to the right there is that thicker wall the only way we can do that is if by placing some decorative items up on it so this is the comfy cubby or as i'm going to call it from here on out the uncomfy cubby because this thing's an abomination so we're going to keep it fairly... We're going to try and keep it as faithful to the plans as we can. Yeah, we'll do a nice blue car. I did a black car on my test. So the car should go right about there. That leaves enough space to move. As for the kitchen, oh, this poor kitchen. 
What are we doing on 9,000? Because part of my goal is I want this to be a uh, be, to be a uh, starter house. God, that hurts me to say out loud. Oh, just ignore it. Just ignore the pain. Uh, I know we used these on yesterday's stream. I think I used these in my test world. Congratulations, there's your kitchen. Wholesale, that is the entire kitchen. Does it hurt you too? Because it hurts me. <sighs> so, with this, this is the straight shell. But this lacks a bed, a cook surface, and a fridge. Now, when I did this yesterday, off camera, I forgot about the hot pot. Which actually is a pretty good object for this kitchen space. I put a microwave in, which in reality wouldn't be the best. And then, this is part of the reason you need BB on, because you uh, do that. I have this on the wrong... Wait, actually, because I have that there, we can do... Should be able to do that and extend the kitchen space just a touch. Trash can's not really practical to have inside. And we are just going to do the nice basic wheeled trash bin that looks like every American trash bin ever made. Uh, I need a mailbox. And I can never remember where they are, so I just do that. I... Oh, uh, uh, oh. No. Uh, so we'll put a mailbox there, because that feels appropriate. A house like this, you're probably dealing with a mailbox against the building itself, rather than away from it. Um... Also, yes, these are the only windows outside of the sliding door. Why are the only windows on the design in the in the freaking garage? And then, <laughs> sorry. And then of course you got this little opening here that has no reason to exist uh, because it's that little notch. They left an opening here. Which is annoying in The Sims because it takes... Look at how much space these take up. But we will do a nice quick uh, decorate and setup. And that will be the base form of the Uncomfy Cubby. Hmm. So we need... I want to put in the concrete. Nope. I think it's in here. And we are going to continue. We're going to do that. And that. There. And then all the other floors, I think... I'm going to use the subfloor, because this feels like something Maxis would do. This does not feel like a well-thought-out design. Again, it's part of the reason it hurts me so much, is it's just... It's clearly not a well-thought-out design. Now, I have no way to confirm whether or not that's passable yet. So, like I said, before we do the renovation of it, we may make a sim to plop into it. So, we're at 11,000. We need lighting, so let's get the lighting set up quick. And then we'll worry about decoration. The version I made off-camera wound up being 42,000, but that's because I used a lot of eco-living items to create a visual interest. There, or I, sorry, not visual interest. I used it for solar panels and the like. Uh, but we need lighting. 
kind of place wouldn't have the greatest of lighting. Where is my hanging? Ceiling lights, like, bathroom probably does just have a puck light. Same with this one. These two rooms are one of the few times where I'll say, yeah, this, that's what they would have as a default. In here, I'm going to assume they at least put some care into the living space. I mean, it's a very relative statement, but nope, too low. Uh, but, but I do have to, I'm going to assume the best and not the worst and that they actually bothered to put in an actual ceiling light in the living space. Oh uh, yeah, that's about even in the space. And then out here I have a light in mind for this. Where is it? Oh, it's a hanging light. There it is. And we're just going to use two of these, because these are the nice, like, industrial fluorescent lights that you would expect to see hanging from a ceiling. And just because I have no respect for this design. We are going with, uh... Yeah, let's do a cream. Let's be at least a little respectful. That and this cream one doesn't have those corners on it. Okay, so there's that. Interior, we are going to assume just the uh, pure expressions. This is one of those that uh, there's no reason to make it more complicated than it needs to be. This one's getting a quick redesign, so it has a tile floor. I have a preference towards this one. And a wall with a tile undercoat, underside, so tile. Not that one. But if we do this one in the pixel perfect in the gray, it looks so much better. Uh, better is relative. I, I need to keep mentioning that. Better is relative. So last time when I did this, I did a double bed in here. I had the realization just now that you could easily instead do... Because at the time, I wasn't thinking. I was just trying to get a spatial understanding, so... Slapping shit in there was pretty much the de facto methodology. See, this is what I mean. That corner is useless. It winds up not being able to serve its purpose... ...because of this wardrobe. Now, Murphy Bed here is a perfect example of a logical decision to make. But I do think I'm going to rotate it or swap the sides, so it's going to be... Like so, instead. It does give us a little bit more space to work with than my previous design. And yes, we are going to be blocking these wardrobe doors because there is no hope. They are... They are designed to take up as much space as possible. I might be able to actually pull it off without blocking them. We will see. But don't expect miracles from me because I am not a miracle worker. Do that. And then where's my TV? Since you can... Thankfully... Oh, wait. How far out? No. How far out does this go? Okay, so that would be in the bed, so we want it there. And then we want just the nice TV on a stand. <sighs> Carpet, because we need a splash of color in here to get rid of the depression. This is another change I make from the original design. The original design states that the door slides this way towards the goes from starts on the right side and slides towards the left according to the plan i'm changing that that it slides from the left going right and there's a there's a reason for that and that's just because this notch has another purpose that i have for it okay back to it uh this actually i need these quick just quick little grime mats 
And then this goes in the entry hall. This goes in the bathroom. I will go back and color match those. Don't, don't worry. I'm just trying to get some of these designs. Kind of like that. Uh, where's the one I used? Ah, there it is. So the giant one here, but we're going to shrink it a couple times. Oops, too many. There we go. So it takes up most of the space. Now we're starting to get a little bit more comfortable. And I'm actually going to say no to this. We're going to sell that combo. And we're going to replace it with... Hmm. We're going to do a double wide. That way you have a little bit of table space in use. Sorry if you can hear that, that's just me uh, hurting. <laughs> I can't describe, begin to describe to you the amount of pain this design brings me. That'll work, and now we'll put the TV on that. We're still doing the nice small one though. But this gives us room for something extra to occur here. And then, how are we doing on money? We're at 16,000, so I can comfortably fit a little bit of landscaping in this design, which is what I wanted. One moment. <coughs> Ow. Oh, because I was talking right as that one hit. Oh. That's going to be a crack in the shoulders. Whew. So we'll use the space saver desk here, and we'll just get a nice basic Ikea chair to match the Ikea furniture. Uh, where, oh, where this is, is that going to be too much? It's going to be too much. I prefer doing a laptop in this design, so that's 17. I probably will bring it just to the edge of being uh, purchasable in the, or for a starting sim. There we go. Ugh. But this feels like most, I think this is everything we need. So now everything we add in from here is pure decoration. We've got a basic desk. We do need a, oh, we need a library. I always like having just a small set of books somewhere. Uh, we'll do a botanical. Ooh, actually. We can put that there. That should still be passable. Bathroom. Bathroom's not getting any more decorations. If you want to decorate it more, if you download this, that is your decision. Sorry, I this build just pains me. So looking at it, oop, I forgot to uh, paint the up top. So give me just a second. Just bop, bop. Okay, that's painted. So there was another thing I added in this morning while I was monkeying about with this. And there it is. And that's just thickening this uh, roof line here. Because it looks a little thin otherwise. So that little beam there adds a nice bit of thickness. Uh, we are getting very, very close. To the limit. Now I wish I could turn off the... Sp oh, perfect. The spandrel stayed off. So that just uh, creates an edge on all of these. And then I need to thicken this wall. Uh, easiest way I know to do that is... Uh... This is a trick that I s learned from Marm... I think it's Marmalade? Or Mar something along those lines on YouTube. Uh, they are not the only one I've seen do it. Um, they're just the first one I ever saw do it. So I am sure there are others who have done it before them. Which is just simply that. And it just creates a nice bit of extra thickness to this wall. So it better matches uh, what the design called for. 
but that at eighteen thousand eight hundred and seventy eight dollars is the uncomfy cubby it is not terrible like theoretically in real life both of these would be accessible but in the sims i'm not sure and then this we need to test so we'll bring a sim in in a moment but i'm going to finish decorating first so I want a little, I just want a few paintings, just a little something. Ooh, right, uh, shoes. Ooh, miss the age. If I wasn't typing with one hand, I would have gotten that, but I was typing with one hand. And then rotate that, and then alt that into place. Sorry, that build up there. So we'll take that. Yeah, we'll put that in here, because that's some. This is something that you would have in a mud room, and that's what this entry is ultimately is a mud room. So cheaper the better, and I do want to get at least one tree to cover up some of the back back section that's empty. Is all get out. Hmm. Where, oh, where are you? Worst part is I forgot what I was looking for. There it is. Uh, if I do this, yeah, it's not gonna disappear it, but... So there's that. We are now at 19,250. So 19,250, I can... We still got... I want to get at least a poster or two in here. Uh, just to, again, bring in that extra bit of color. Or a poster or a decorative object. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought it was. Yeah, we can fit a pride flag in here. Where do I want to put it? I'm going to put it somewhere where it's appropriate. Right there. That feels like a good spot for the pride flag. Uh... Ugh. Sorry about that. No, this is trying to bother me still. Na, 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 na. Sorry, sometimes when it gets certain sequences, I just feel compelled to go along with it. Um... Honestly, you wouldn't even have pots and pans. That works there. Yeah, I still want one in the living space proper. Nope. Okay. To the paintings! Hmm... That's a billboard. Oh, just a bit too big. That would have been cool otherwise. The real issue is we don't have a lot of wall space, so we're having to really just cram some of this in. I got a bit more last time because I put the... Uh, I did a bookshelf elsewhere. That'll work. And we'll do There we go. So we got a little bit of decoration and we are two simoleons shy of being broke of this not breaching my goal. So we gotta break something. We gotta get rid of something. Because again, I want one tree. That's all I want is one singular tree. Fortunately, the tree I need is kind of on the expensive side. Because I need one that has some bigger coverage. Not that one. But the Weeping Willow. 
So that's 2123. So yeah, we are now. We are 123 over. Fifty-eight. Nope, 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 nope. Grab. Into the back. Into the back with I. Uh, well, that brought back to the right cost. You know, we'll ignore most of the decorations then. So that brings us to 19928. And the mostly unlandscaped. I can't fit any patio furniture out here, unfortunately, as a result. But this is the abomination realized more or less faithful, as faithfully to the plans as I can pull off without more detail. Let's just take a look at it. Again, it's not terrible looking. I'm using that term exceptionally vaguely. Sorry, I was hoping there was a gray one. It's not terrible looking from the outside, but it's a very dark interior. It's not a well thought out layout when it comes to some of this. Like, these should have gone here if you wanted them that badly. Not on this wall. Because you made the space narrower. So even though it's wider, now this feels more like a hallway compared to, say, a room. And this kind of gets into that kind of design flaw. And then if you... But if you ran it here, the room is still mostly open. Which means it would be more comfortable to be in. I understand why this is here. This functions really as your window. You don't get any other options. But we are going to create a sim and bring them into this space to try to figure out uh, how much of this is usable, what is, what is not. Uh, for example, a quick fix if uh, it's not usable by a sim, like, like this door is blocked, is just put this in the inside the counter. I don't... I think it's not going to be an issue. Sorry, I hit the window key on accident. But it could be. This should be fine. This corner is... I mean, look at this. This entire corner is useless. There's no way I can use the space. And I had this issue in my uh, pre-build. And then this whole area should be passable with no issues. This path is passable. This path is passable, or should be. This is my one concern, is the toilet. I know the sink will be usable. I'm not sure if the toilet is. The shower should also be usable. So we're going to bring a sim in and we're going to find out. The shower isn't usable. I might swap it out for one of the open ones and see if that'll work, but we'll see. So let's swap back over. Ugh. Okay. So let's just create a quick household. And toss them in. Romina, our shoe. Oh, so that's pretty close to what I need, so... I'll work for the name. Since I don't impl intend to really play this sim for long... Loner's fine. We're getting rid of Squeamish. Sorry, I, there are certain ones I just refuse to use. Place it with pop. No, not proper. There we go. We'll call it. We'll do green beans. Born of Oh, that's creepy. Uh, and then aspiration. We'll just go with.
Yeah, we'll do that. That'll work. Uh, outfits are fine. I'm just going to tweak the face a little bit just so it's not the default one in case I want to use the default one elsewhere. That shoulders a little wider, waist a little wider. Other way on that. I imagine if she's more explorative, like we created her, she would be a bit more on the fit side. We'll add some meat to the bones. I'm going to assume most of the outfits are fine. I've been wrong before. I can work with that. Sleepwear, that's fine. Athletic, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And that's that. That's all fine. Okay, so that'll work for her outfit. I'm just gonna. I am getting rid of the beanie though. And we'll change the hairstyle here, just so it's not the default one. There. And we'll toss a pair of glasses on. I don't really expect to see her outside very often, so... Yep, those will work. We'll just switch them to a black, and perfect. Save and play. Like I said, this is just to test whether or not this slot is even usable. And that's just because of how weird the slot is. And that's not even getting into the temperature issues that are going to occur in the kitchen. Yes, I want it furnished because I need to chest it for furnished. So like I said, we're just going to check to see that she can get to every single object. She can open the bed, she can close the bed, she can watch the television, she'll be fine. I need to check that she can get to that outside area. I need to check that she can use the desk. The kitchen should be usable just fine because that's got a one tile all the way around it. Mailbox should be accessible, trash can's accessible. It's the only trash can on the lot, unfortunately. Need to make sure at least one of those wardrobes is accessible. I want one of those to be accessible. Yeah, see, here's the issue right here. You're seeing it perfectly. I'll do that. So I want to see first things first. Take a shower. Can you path to it? You can. Can she use this? She can. Can she get here? She can. Okay. Can she sit here? She can. Uh, yes, I know you're hungry. I don't care. Uh, actually... Let's just do a garden salad. I don't know why the lights in here aren't on. Oh, there we go. Serious? Oh, I bet it's because there's no uh, countertop space. Well, that confirms she can sit there. That's that. I want to see if that works now. Yep, so that was just in the way. So, But that also confirms this door works. And then I th I'm going to assume that that one works. Okay, you're getting tired. Is she bringing the bed down? Yep, she's bringing the bed down. Okay, well, that looks like it's working just fine. Okay, so this abomination works.
this crime against architecture and design works. Uh, it's a good thing, Josh. It's a good thing that it works. I hate every aspect of this thing, by the way. As far as I'm concerned, this has no redeeming factors outside of being creative. My biggest issue with this isn't the bathroom. It isn't the entryway. It isn't even the wardrobes. It's the kitchen. The kitchen and its placement is so incredibly annoying. And the fact that they made the kitchen so small means that it can't feasibly have a stove and a fridge. But yet you had the room to put two, two full wardrobe units taking up almost two thirds, comfortably taking half the wall space in the original plan. And because this is The Sims, two thirds of the floor space. Uh, so I think I saw one thing right. I wanted to do a color swap on that. So I want to color swap this toilet. And I think otherwise we're fine. Okay. So. Go back to manage worlds. Save and go to manage worlds. So I'm going to upload this as the as designed variant. And the second variant that we're going to do, so I actually need to get this into my gallery real, gallery real quick. So we are, I'm gonna get this onto my gallery. I'm not gonna upload it until I have both variants ready and they're gonna get uploaded at the same time. But again, it's, this thing's an abomination. Sorry, I had to stand up for a second. There we go. Okay. But otherwise, this is good to go. Save to my library. Young Comfy Covey. I struggle to call this a one bed, one bath. And again, technically it's a three quarter bath, not a one bath, but mm, that gets into what makes a full bath versus a quarter bath versus a half bath versus a three quarters bath. I'll get into that when we design the next version. Ding. Hey. I think it's like R slash Sims 4. Everything is as as I under understood the plans. I should probably link the post in this, but I'll do that later. So that'll be saved a lot to my library. And go back to my manage worlds and now I'll set up next door. This is why I have, or why I chose these two lots. One, new crest is open. So in the long run, I'm probably gonna destroy at least one of these. Just being honest, one of them's probably gonna get destroyed. build. So this one we're going to go through a different approach to designing it and setting it up. The garage is just going to be the garage. I'm not going to put the kitchen in it. That's going to be one of the biggest changes. So the kitchen will be in the main build in the main unit rather than outside. So we're going to be pulling some of the tricks of the trade from Sorry. 
pulling tricks of the trade from some of the other designs. So let's see. This design is thankfully mirrorable. So if I wanted them next to each other instead of offset like this, I could. But we are going to do on this point. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's a two wide hallway down to here. And then there is additional slab, which we're just gonna we're gonna make real quick myself and then we'll move it. Okay, so this whole setup, let's get the walls up. All the way up, thank you. We're gonna lift up, uh, no, just one tick. And now we can take this wall tool here and I should be able to do that, that, and that. And then let's see, I wanna see, am I already over? 36 is of 64. Theoretically, let me try and get a roof on this. Oh, wow, we are going to be pulling this tight. I don't think we're going to be able to quite make it a... Uh, an actual... Yeah, it can't quite be made into a tiny house. It's Flooring is just a touch too big. I mean, this is too big by four tiles to be a tiny house, which is a shame. So I could shrink back the porch. I could shrink back some other stuff, but I'm not going to. So this will remain a residential lot. That being said, we are going to maintain a few of the pre-existing design parameters. So, for example, I did like the entryway setup. I like the multiple entry points. That's fine, that can stay. As soon as I find where my doors are. The fact that most of these doors are sliding is one of the few saving graces of this entire design. We're going to go with more of an Ikea color palette in this one. Uh, which is to say, unnecessarily, everything is just blonde woods. So we are still going to keep most of the walls in the right spot. Or in the original spots. Uh, what we are doing is we're playing with everything past that point. I think this will be all, and we'll put this on deck stilts. What the hell's on? Okay, my Pinterest has been blowing up lately. It's a little weird. Uh, Stilt foundation. I wish these didn't add such a chonky uh, bit of decking. Okay. Uh, what other doors do we need? We need the two pass-through doors. I go through the bathroom. That's honestly one of the biggest designs of the entire build is the double door through the bathroom. You want to, you should probably want to avoid that just because, especially in the Sims, Sims don't have common sense. They're going to walk right through it. We are keeping built-ins, but the built-ins are not going to be on the stupid wall. They're going to be on the smart wall, and there's only going to be one of them instead of two of them. So it's going there. We are going to do the wall build. I am so glad they made it so that these closets could be built into the walls. Uh, we are keeping the giant slider here, as that is not a terrible idea, especially for getting light into the space. And again, in this space, it is needed. We will keep the bizarre windows in the in the garage. I am more than willing to accept those. But we will be adding additional windows. That's going to be a big thing, is just more windows. Most of which are going to be on this back wall, but I want to pick and choose when I do that. And we are going to have a smaller window here. 
for the bathroom and probably one in the entryway. That should be small enough that the Sims can step up on it, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's get some concrete laid. This is, also, this is all I have planned, so as soon as we get both of these done, we're probably going to call the stream for the day. Uh, just heads up. Oh, there's the one I used. Uh, we're using the nicer concrete. Uh, truck. So if I put in car, it doesn't pull up the ones I want, so it's easier to use the model truck and then go for the mid... The Midnight Raven. Also, who is the edgy teenager that named this thing? We're still gonna keep that further back. We'll treat this as it is... <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we'll treat it as if it's an open-air car park kind of a situation. We need the darker woods because I'm still doing the darker color palette. Uh, up here we need... It is a shame that it's just a touch too big. Essentially the whole premise here is this is what would be... So what we have on the right is the original developer's box. On the left, we'll have the renovation. So someone came in a few weeks later, or a few years later, and renovated this unit to be nicer and more attractive. Oh, speaking of stream schedule, there will not be a stream tomorrow. I have an interview tomorrow, so that's going to take up my day. Day as my anxiety is going to be through the roof. And it's just easier... What I use... Ah, right, I used the concrete all the way up. Okay, we can do that here, too. Like, some of this isn't bad, it's just some of it is egregious. Do the same kind of off-color. Bring that closer to the door. We are going to keep using some of the tiny house stuff, though. As that works a lot better for this. Actually, I just realized I should do that. I just collapse that back into the wall. Because I think the tiny living stuff works a bit better for this design. Uh, do I have this facing the right way? I do not. And guess what? This kitchen's gonna have... Well, hopefully it'll have everything. I'm gonna be cramming a very large amount of objects. Actually, I just realized. Let's not put it on this wall. I am doing this on the fly, by the way, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Which is exactly what you want to hear from your architect while they're working on your project. No, that won't work. I'm just trying to figure out how to get the kitchen in here, so... And still have one built-in. So, as soon as I figure that out, we'll be golden. Maybe built-in on this wall. There we go. And then tile, 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 tile. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Make the kitchen real quick. We're gonna go with a nice... We're gonna go with the nice bland co. They're perf it's a perfectly acceptable counter. And then we're gonna grab a fridge. I'm gonna at least grab a nice fridge. Actually, screw the corner. We need to save as much space as possible, so that. Uh, we're putting in an actual stove, not that hunk of shite. How are we doing on the cost? Okay, we're already up to 12. And then one more. Nope. 
Got that wrong at every turn. Third one over. There we go. And the sink will go in that one. So now we have a full kitchen. None of this half kitchen bullshit. And then bed can go there. And we are going to be using the tiny living bed. But we're going to use one without the side cabinet. And then we're going to do the office in the same way as last time. So, But we're going to swap out the desk for the nicer single wide. Wide, and then we'll just do, again, we'll just do the Strangerville laptop, and we'll do the Ikea chair. A nice black. And then over here, we'll do the television console unit. Again, I always click bedroom for living room. We'll do this guy here. I love this one. So already, this is, look at how much more space this has. Like, I can bring the car in deeper. I could put a workbench there. Like, with the door on this side, I could also put in, like, a small dining table here, which is exactly what I'm going to do now that I've thought about it. So you actually have a dedicated dining space. Like, do you have any idea how important that is, psychologically speaking, to have a dedicated dining space? Says the man who eats at his desk every day. Follow my advice, not what I do. Uh, we'll use that shitty one. There's that. And then I can actually probably get away with a... Uh... Oh no, because this is a Murphy bed. The Murphy bed's gonna get in the way. Oh well, so we won't have a coffee table, but we've got a few, co we've got a few tables around to help solve that issue. Uh, I do want a few decorative rugs for some aesthetics, because aesthetics are important. Do that, and then we need the bathroom, which we are going to treat more or less the same. I'm not going to go out of my way. I'm not going to go out of my way to make some of these any different because they are they are perfectly acceptable the way they were built kind of a situation it's one of those there's nothing wrong with it so why would you bother trying to fix it so that takes up the whole tile does this take up the whole tile it does not so yeah i can't use one with a pre-built-in countertop commercial sink no does this take up the whole corner? Ooh, it doesn't. So that means we can get something a little bit more aesthetic and would have a visible... I just realized there wasn't a mirror in the other bathroom. Oh, well. And then we can go with... It's a little embedded in the wall, but that's fine. So there's the bathroom redone again. And now... We're gonna do, we're gonna do just plain siding again. We're not gonna do anything fancy. We're already gonna be way over budget, but that's, so this is not the starter house variant. This would be the, this, again, this is post renovation. So this is assuming the person actually had a decent bit of money to work with. I really wish I didn't have those little bars, but we'll deal with it. Interior, that I'm gonna have to manually adjust. But that is again just gonna be a nice, simple. It's actually a better color for it than that pale. And the pale coloration I did use, but oh well. So we're already looking at a lot. Uh, we can use a black trim. Oh, wrong floor. Oh no, since this isn't a room, it doesn't. It's not possible. Okay, so we are down a flaw. 
um, with that. So we can't put that trim bar across to help uh, thicken the wall, but we can at the very least put in a pillar to help. And actually, since that's already white, we can get away with it. Just Ooh. come on, come on. Oh shit! It can't be any taller. Oh well. So I can't create a trim line there. That's a shame. But yeah, work with what you got, not what yeah, not what you want. Work with what you have, not what with what you want. That's what this is. So we're gonna swap out for a nicer flooring in these spaces. I think we're gonna try and go for a slightly nicer tile as well. Maybe, yeah, flowing lines, that'll work. Can't see a damn thing in there. Okay, so let's grab a couple windows that'll match some of these and start filling out some of the walls. Essentially, start getting light into some of these rooms that were a dungeon in the original design. Like here, we can go with the darker, with that gray, and we can put it here. As that's kind of more appropriate for this space, is just having a sliver of a window. Just something to get some light pass through occurring. <sighs> Sorry. <coughs> mm. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Does this have like a dark gray? Yeah. Like that alone. Let's get this in alignment and then we're just going to very careful realign it so that they're at least lined up otherwise that was gonna bother me okay so that gets a little bit of light in there now we need lighting in all of the rooms we are going to use the same lighting in the garage space because to me that feels appropriate for the room uh let's see Looking at options for an alternate to the out external. Yeah, that's a little big. It's kind of close to what I wanted, but it's just a little big. Same with that one, it's just a little too big. Can I get this in a lighter color? Ah, that's perfect. Uh, hanging, because everything else is going to be hanging. Again, these rooms, it makes actually the beamer and then the little pod in here. And now this guy will do a lighter color. One here and one here. And no, that's, that's better spacing. And then in here we will use... Oh, come to me, inspiration. I require your aid. Oh my no. That's gonna be a hard. That's gonna be a hard never. Some of these lights, I question the sanity of the person who designed them. That ain't terrible. Let's see, that's the one we used. We could go with the teardrop light and have it take up a little bit more space visually. Okay, that works. Well, we got a kitchen. Let's make sure the kitchen's full si fully equipped. Gotta have some upper cabinets for some decoration purposes. So this is bland coat. The matching is that one. And we're gonna do that. That. Uh, 
that into into this one. And then stove hoods. This one have a different color on it. Nope. Okay. So there's your stove, and that needs to get reset to the proper Then, bathroom's getting a tiled wall, but we're going with a nicer tiled wall. I'm not feeling that one. Dear God, no. No. To be fair, that is a nice one. It's cheap. Do that. Actually, an accent wall might be better in this one. And then just do. Eh, we won't bother with an accent, but an accent in here would work. Where's my sand mine? Where's my. It's a nice little burst of an accent wall. And everything else can be pure expressions. Again, I love pure expressions just because it's such a simple paint. It's got no trims you have to worry about matching up. Just one of my issues I have with some of the other paints is yeah, match that. I really wish they would figure out what caused that and get it to stop. Okay, so already. I want to say that already massively improves the quality of the of the design. It's just getting rid of one built-in, moving it. I mean, this thing's already twenty-one thousand. So, actually, if you use the story mode sims, it's already at a starter house price. Uh, but I have a few more adjustments I want to make. So we want activities. Creative. Uh, here. Right, let's bring that back a little bit. We need some rug. We need the rugs for the outside. Rugs are going to be the same because they're... When you look at it, that rug is a very basic... Meant for the every man. Or for the every house, I should say. So it's not exactly fancy. There's that. Uh, I could probably get away with a trash can in the corner here and not fuck up the entrance. Uh, let's just do a nice generic plus. A nice generic plus. Eek. In you go. Into hold you go. And then we grab you. And boom. Look. Windows. I know it's such a concept, but boom. Light. Yeah, why are most of these... Oh, right, this is every... This is all of them, that's why. I was about to say, why the hell is there a bond... Why are some of these grayed out? And again, kaboom! We've got super nice decoration. Or aesthetic there. And this whole thing looks so much better. Now we need to take our railing and we need to swap it out for something at least a little bit more appropriate for the color palette. So, you know, we don't need a high-end fence. We just need something that matches the color a little bit better. I'm sorry, what? That might wind up as a placement sim at some point. Give me a second, just getting around the notification bubble. Uh, patio furniture is next, I believe. Because this time we have the funds for patio furniture. 
that right where I want it? Yep. And then back up, and we'll grab just a couple of of the decent outdoor armchairs. Ooh, that, 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 that hurts. Oh, sorry, earache's trying to come through off the, from the headphones. Uh, since we're well over the budget already anyways, we're gonna go a little crazy. Hello, Sola. Side note, you can fit a full set of solar all the way along this thing. Uh, and my test one... I did a test. This thing, you can... Since it's an even number on both sides, you can cover this whole roof in solar panels and get so much power off that. Especially if you make the minor modifications necessary to make this thing a tiny house instead of a full size. There are ways to glitch it. Essentially, you just gotta make it so this doesn't get classified as a room. So a pitched roof, for example, would be a really quick way to do that and then just coat that in solar panels. Uh, I want fountains. I really don't like what they did to the water features in between my playing. I really don't. The old menu was a little bit better in my opinion. Now I've actually got a search for what I'm looking for, and I can't remember where the hell they put it. And some of this stuff I need to play with. Like, like this stuff, I haven't played around with in play mode, so I don't know what it's like. Uh, actually, it might be in activities. Hmm. Sorry about that. Nope, that's the onsen. There it is. Nope. Still nope. Gotta bring this thing right up to the edge to get everything to fit the way I want it to fit. Uh-huh. So apparently that wall didn't get moved. So give me just a second. So we gotta just... Thankfully I didn't have anything on that wall, so I don't have to re... Redo the whole thing. I just gotta repaint a few things. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't hold on to that wall, but it took everything else on the lot. Okay, now then, where were we? There we go. So we do that, and then I need the fencing again, and we're going to match it. So this is all, one of my favorite little things for like denoting a property edge is you don't do full fences. You do partial fences. Because this creates that visual break that it's like, oh yeah, there's some sort of boundary here. But you can't see it. Next up, we need some plant life. Because, rule one of The Sims, if you want something to look g gorgeous, you put plants in it. Because plants fix everything. We're not even gonna get fancy with this. Where's the other, where's that oak tree again? i am place another one like here. You know, super wooded up property. Uh, there will probably be a little bit more decoration on the plant side of things. Oh no, I need you. Be gravel. There we go. That way it's not inside the plot, or inside the lot while I'm doing this. And let's just go with the lander one, just, just because everything else is kind of monotone. And now we need final decorations. Do 
and then we can call this build complete. And we're gonna, this is an example of changing up the design. So instead of matching it one for one, we're doing a variation. Theoretically, if this didn't have the slider door in it, I could probably put a washing machine in there. That's something to consider. You could put a washing machine like in this corner and that door should still theoretically be passable. I'm gonna put a darker rough on that, or a darker gravel. Where's the other gravel? I used... There it is. Put... You know, fine. It stays. Oops. And it's also very easy to put a... You'd have to do an outdoor basement, but you could fit a basement on this pretty easily. Uh, back to posters. Decoration, paintings and posters. We're just experimenting. Oh yeah, this is... That one goes there. Something like that, but let's just slide it better into place so it doesn't clip. And we're just gonna go ham here for a second. Actually, that's not too bad there. Not much I can do to decorate the bathroom. Oop, we do need some rugs in it. Shoes. We are gonna. I do have some patterns that I always follow through with, so be aware. So there's that. That looks good. Probably just. And then let's grab a trash can. We're just gonna put the trash can just inside the sheltered area. Theoretically, a sim can walk through that. Hello, scene goaded. Just saw you pop up there. Been. I do not play The Sims multiplayer. To be honest, I didn't even know there was multiplayer. <laughs> No, I spend most of my time in Sims doing stuff like this. So, uh, since you're new to the stream here, that, uh, ah, third party mod. I don't tend to mod the Sims because I've had it just absolutely shatter my game at the slightest provocation. Uh, today we've been messing around. I just realized all of your chat messages are being blocked by the, uh, floor plan. Let me just move that to the other side real quick. Now I found this uh, floor, I've been rebuilding this floor plan today, twice now. Original design, heavily modified design.
Uh, I've just had a lot of bad luck with that, with modding in The Sims. Uh, content gets stretched weird when it shouldn't. Uh, the menus shatter like glass. It's made it hard to work with when it comes to modding it. I'm trying to remember if I got everything I needed to adjust in this design. Let's see, we decorated the patio compared to the original. I added windows that weren't in the original. <laughs> I still need to do a reverse image search on the floor plan that this whole thing's based off of. Just to see if there was an actual build based off of it and see what it looks like. Cause this thing is a disaster. It's turned out a lot better once I moved away from the built-ins. Or got rid of the built-ins from the original design. How do you think this has turned out? I can show you the original uh, floor, the floor plan as it turned out in this one real quick too for reference. That was the wrong button. Yeah, I'll show you the original here real quick. So the one that I'm about to load in is the house that's or it's the house that was directly to the right of it. Uh, that's this one is more of a one to one to what the original floor plan is. Um, it's just a it's a very weird design. Because I don't know how well you can read the uh, floor plan I have up on the screen. But the kitchen is in the garage. The garage has the only windows in the entire property. Um, let me bring it up. So this is roughly based off of what we had. How I figured that this would actually look in real life. I'm very glad I spotted that from that. I've got to resave this before I upload it. Uh, but going into the base floor plan. So this was all the kitchen would allow for. Ignore the food. I had to test this whole building. Is a mini fridge where it shouldn't be. A hot pot and a sink. And that's your entire kitchen in the garage. And the plans make no marker for any form of a garage door. As... Well, I'm being... It might be me being pedantic, but as it didn't have the marker for the garage door, I assume no garage door, even if it might have had one. Uh, then you have an entryway that can be entered from the front or the garage, which leads into a pass-through style bathroom, which is cramped as fuck. Um, because you've got the shower in this little cu- you've got the shower cubicle here, and then you got the, uh, sink right against the toilet. And then the fl original floor plan called for these two, uh built-ins to be up against this wall which is what the uh bir or something like that stands for in the original floor plan and i can zoom that out in a moment so now trying to fit everything else you need into this design and i this one i was trying to keep under the twenty thousand lot value something's caused this property value to drop a lot um but if you look there are no other windows except for the ones that are in the garage. So that was the biggest change. That and bringing the kitchen into the main house. But you got a nice little patio. I also elevated this one and didn't turn the garage into a room. It also just barely missed the tiny home classification on the second one. It's four tiles too big. Um, but I need to resave this to the gallery, so give me a second. Or resave it to my gallery. Because this one I had a few modifications I had to correct for. Okay. So back over to the non abomination. Or the less of an abomination, I should say. 
I don't really have any other builds planned for today, as this is one that I, I started planning these out yesterday after yesterday's stream. Just because I was trying to understand the space and having to convert the numbers over. But while that loads here, I'll zoom out the original design. So this is what we're looking at on the original design. So your entrance is where the red arrow is, but it's that kitchen up in the middle area that just makes it so, so bad to work with. So let me do that real quick. The courtyard is another weird statement there because it's not a courtyard, it's a porch. Now that could just be a difference in understanding because there is evidence that this may have been Australian designed. So there might be some terminology differences there. I was I was trained in architecture in the United States, so I wound up with a di so there's some terminology that is universal and some that isn't. But to go over the bulk of the changes, one wardrobe was removed entirely, and the built-in was moved to the garage wall. The bedroom space was given a dedicated wall point on one of the only barren walls. Uh, let me see. I'm always careful with these the cutaway view because sometimes it cuts stuff you were trying to look at. The kitchen is kind of basic, but it covers your needs. I'm not sure how well someone's going to be able to cook on this. There might be some issues there. And the biggest thing is, is all the rooms got all the major rooms got windows. So there's a window in the entryway, there's a window in the bathroom, there's two new, three, four, five new windows in the, li in the living space. So we're in the final stages of decoration, just getting all the little accoutrements in here. Yeah, with the black accent, no, we'll leave it on this one. Debating making that a colorful rug, but I'm not sure yet. I need a mirror on this. Should probably put some shelves in here too. Ooh, I got a bare wall here. So there's your leaving the house mirror. Uh, let's put that on this wall. And then... Slide this against the wall. And shelving units. We need shelves. A lot of shelves. Two surfaces. Shelving units. And I want one for the bathroom. Actually, I kind of like that already. Oh, wow, that is... That is significantly larger than I thought it would be. Uh, let's see if there's an alternative that is still that style. Ooh. Does this fit in here? Oh, it's two. Damn. Okay. That was one that would have been perfect to go in there. Painter's pegboard. Well, that can go here. I'm going to recolor that. Yeah, you'll notice that my uh, thought processes when designing are a little uh, sp sporadic. Uh, what the... Mm. That's one of the issues that comes with BB. Is sometimes things just like to break. No, because that sticks out too much. I realize I could resize some of these that I'm saying no to. It's just... Oh, I need that wall that it's on. Ooh, it's gonna be a little tight on that mirror, but... And then grab you and bring you down ever so slow. Hmm, I can't remember the command for that. And let's get this recolored so it matches in with the bathroom's palette of bland. Uh... I wish I could do some. Oh, wait. Regular bathroom decorations might work. What the hell? I keep forgetting some of the items I have from 
some of these packs. So I find them and it's just a what the hell moment. Yeah, theoretically that door works if I cover this. Theoretically. Because the actual door is the one with the circle on it. That has a circle on it, not the uh, larger part. Uh, oh, so close. If I had a higher ceiling on this, that would have worked. Uh, let's see. Well, that definitely helped the bathroom a lot, just adding that in. Let's take a look. What do we got for colorations on these? Uh, the, um, bus. No, I used this one in yet. I also need to break my habit. I use the same pieces for everything. Like, if you look at the, at my gallery page. Here, let me just pull up the catalog real quick. I have a really bad habit of using the same pieces for everything. So you'll see the same pieces get used over and over again. Unfortunately, it's not as easy to see as my gallery is a little empty because... Fresh reinstall resulted in uh, me losing all previous ones that I had never uploaded to the gallery, which was everything. Pretty much everything that's on the on my gallery page right now is just what's been produced in the last four days. Turn the grid off. I don't need that anymore. Ah, right, the rest of the desk space. That's unnerving. There we go. Uh, I need a uh, desk light. I should also put an easel in here because this feels this now feels like somewhere where people would uh, paint a lot. Ooh, there it is. Uh, other corner. I feel like the other corner would be a better spot for it. There we go. Since the computer's offset. Uh, easel. It's actually a lot of room. You could probably get away with a yoga mat in here. Yeah, you could. You could do yoga. You could actually get the yoga mat down in here. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let's see. It's the basic easel. Easel. I'll just have that facing out into the backyard. Uh, I need to do a rear wall check. Just make sure all the walls are actually painted. They are. Okay. feel like the inside is decorated well enough, but I need to... just going to expand the accent wall paint job over a little bit. So that's a bit better of a cutoff point. Not the happiest with the dining room space. Definitely be better. Don't know why that keeps glitching the door out of existence. But it looks like whenever I pallet something around it. Hmm, that was weird. Okay. And now for a little bit of landscaping. It's so nice when I don't have to worry about the budget because we are already climbing past it at a pretty, at a fairly solid clip. Uh, where are my ferns? Oh. Ah, hydrangeas. Some low flowers. A little bit of shrub, some more shrubberies. Maybe some more low flowers. Uh, this lavender can go in one of the other. It can go in this one around the tr base of the tree. There's some ferns. Ferns are actually incredible. Jesus. That's a big one. Uh, ferns can be incredibly useful in landscaping as they are incredibly hostile to life that isn't them. Swiss cheese plants. That's just a... Uh, my dad's planning on using some of his at his house to deal with a lot of weeds that are or a lot of invasive weeds you can just unleash a little bit of uh, a few ferns right as they start to spore give it about two years and everything down there will be gone 
Yay, hostas! One of the easiest plants to maintain. Um, and grow more of at that, too. You can, uh, when you pull them out, you can split them and then shove them right back into the ground. They'll grow right from that. We used to do that a lot. It was one of the things that we had to do at my old job. Uh, we'll do a little bit around that, and then if I scroll out, that looks good. We're going to put just a little bit of this longer grass. Where is it? Here it is. Right around the base of this tree. Because it would it's not uncommon that right around the base of the tree, you can't get your mower up against it, so it's going to wind up getting a little shaggier there. And then... I do want to create a bounding wall, but I don't want to use it with a fence. So we'll use a nice, simple hedgerow. I really hope that isn't a Hawthorne hedgerow, because those things are just a pain to deal with. They grow thick, and they grow hard. So it can be really difficult to get one, or to cut them. Which was another issue we dealt with at my last job. Which was a landscaping job. Do that. And then I actually need to s slide that back in. And just to avoid clipping, we'll scatter it back a bit. There we go. <coughs> mm, sorry, I don't know why, <coughs> why I'm coughing so much right now. Uh, let's see. One pond. Do that there. Ooh, can I fit a gate in here so that we have a way out into the greater yard? There we go. So now we have a gate that leads into the greater yard space. Which means it's patio time! What do we got for pavers? I think pavers will look a little bit better over here. Ah, there we go. Something like that. And then... Let me think. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Oh, that muscle didn't stop cramping. Ow. Okay, I'm better now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, some days my body hates me and likes to just give me random pain. So we'll do that. Bring that in a little bit further. And let's go along here. So, see, and this came out of the vintage pack, so the vintage countertop is going to be my one of choice. There it is. Counter by Aux. Well, that doesn't seem to be lining up properly. Okay. Well, you can play that game. Oh, there we go. It's a never-ending war against this game some days, and I want a brick pad or I want a blockier pattern on that. What do I got for stone walls? What right about there? Do we have a, a warmer color? Ah, eh, close enough. There we go. And then some outdoor seating here. Maybe this and something like that. And then, does this have the tables in it? I want the one that has a little fireplace in it. Uh, not in this menu. OK. 
Okay. Oh, that's the bedroom. There it is. You, and then bring you back just a little. Copy you. We have no bar, but I think I'll ignore the bar. And then let's just slide that. Yeah, that works. It's a little, a little place like that. And then we need a path. We'll spray paint that on. And I should weaken it a little bit and shrink it significantly. Just a rough path out into the little outer area. Should probably get some light uh, light out here. See, I don't. Let me see what I got for the outdoor lights. That was. Let's just go to the light menu directly. Outdoor lights, there they are. Give me a nice little bit of string lighting. How big is that? Oh, I always hate how long that one is. I always feel like they made these way too long to work with. We'll do... Oop, wrong buttons. There and there. So they can come up and around like so to the general garden space. And then... Just some weird lighting. Ah, okay. So that's all the landscaping done. Anything else is secondary and not really necessary. And could be more left open to people to choose. Oh, and what will be our one lot trait? Well, it certainly doesn't have a chef's kitchen. Barely has one. Convenial it is. That one will work. Okay. Heck, <laughs> it did manage to clip through. Okay, we're gonna move the solar panel over that. I had a feeling that would clip through. I never forgot to check for it. Oh. So that's three different versions of this that I've now built. Two on stream, one off stream as a test. And all of these, and at least these two are going up on the uh, gallery. Yeah, and I don't know why I do these things to myself. Oh, almost forgot some more. Uh, forgot a uh, set of lights for the outside here. Where is the one I used? There it is. Swap that to a white. Swap that to a white, and I'm just gonna trust that everything works in this situation. So let's get this. 
locked into the gallery. This one's getting renamed. Camp. All of it should work. Again, I struggle to call this a one bed. And technically, it's, again, it's technically a three quarters bath, but eh. I came through looking well. My need to landscape these always makes it really hard to see what these look like up close. But that looks good, so I'll save that to my library. We gotta get the description redone on the second variant of the uncomfy cubby directly and then both of those will go on to the gallery i will put in chat my gallery id is so if i have it set up that should crop up on screen as well well as in chat as soon as i remember what i'm doing there we go okay so uncomfy cubby so it should be I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one, okay. So this one has my text. Control C, close that. Let's see if Control V works in this. Yay, they actually made it work. Okay, so uncomfy cubby. So that is a share the lot to the gallery. And this one is already typed up, so we can share this lot to the gallery. And then, yay, ID. Four, send that up into the chat. So if you're interested in downloading any of my other creations, there's the ID to look it up on the gallery. Otherwise, we are... Wow, this is the closest I've gotten to an even hour in a while. So, with that, I think we're going to be wrapping up the stream here today. As this is all I had planned. And when it comes to a lot of these designs, I need at least a couple hours to do prep work and a little bit of off-camera des design monkeying to have an idea of what I'm doing. So with that in mind... Thank you for coming. Thank you, Scene, for being one of my few humans that have ever chatted to me in the in the chat box. <laughs> Otherwise, and this is just going to be the usual spiel follow, so if you don't want to stick around for that, go ahead. But if you are interested in any of the content I make, consider following on Twitch, subscribing on YouTube at Dark Rook Archives, where all of these streams will wind up within about two weeks of being streamed. On... YouTube, consider subscribing, liking, commenting, etc., etc. Hit notification on both to be alerted of when I post or when I go live. Otherwise, thank you all, and have a wonderful day.